Welcome back to Level Header Gamer, guys. My name is Joseph, and today we're talking about Returnal again. And this time around, we're talking about how to defeat the second boss in the Crimson Wastes, or the, sec the boss in Crimson Wastes, which is the second boss, and how to kind of take strategies to take him down. The first thing, before we even go to the strategy of the boss himself, I highly recommend to really focus on your health meter and try to extend it as much as you can because he's going to be throwing a bunch of attacks at you. And the second thing you want to do is have some sort of consumable to heal yourself once. That should be more than enough. And have a weapon that's long distance. I came with the problem of using a shotgun against this boss, and that was a little bit of dumb of me to do, do that from the beginning. But however, you still should be fine. As you can see, I will take this boss out with just one health. And it's more about learning his patterns, which are, I thought, easier to dodge than the first boss. And you become more prepared because you're going to have a lot more health ready to fight this boss. But let's jump right into it. Now, with this boss, it's really going to be a lot of dodging. He's going to be shooting out the blue balls, which are going to be much faster. Just dodge those. Don't risk trying to shoot him while he does that. However, whenever he shoots his yellow balls out, that's a little bit easier to dodge as they're really, really slow. As long as you're not too close to them, they're going to be spreading out really, really quick. Just don't risk it with the blue ones as he will shoot them sometimes in a machine gun style really fast or in kind of waves and bursts that you have to dodge around or dodge through. But just keep pumping out different ammo on him and your, of course, alternate fire to bring him down the first phase. You shouldn't give you too much trouble. On the second phase, he's going to start doing ground attacks where he just creates these blue waves that come out with a bunch of yellow and blue balls. Really, I would focus more on walking away from any of the blue or, the blue or uh, yellow balls, but the wave is what you have to really watch out for. Make sure you're jumping and dodging out of the way or dodging again through it, depending what's the best thing to do. Just remember, dodging through really helps. His second attack is when he's going to go shoot from left to right of the whole stage creating this big kind of spear-like attack with the balls and that sends out another shock wave. So the balls are really easy to dodge. All you have to do is just kind of get out of the way and make sure you're not at the center of the stage. It's the shock wave you have to watch out for. Remember, you can dodge through it or you can just dodge by jumping over it. A little bit more risky. I wouldn't recommend that. He's also going to have a faster upgraded version of his kind of blue ball attack where it's going to be either from horizontal left to right or it's going to be in this kind of circular motion where you have to just either again dodge through it or do what I do, kind of step back a little bit and not take a risk. It's easier with this boss to take your time and just whittle away his health little by little. And you're not going to have much more trouble here. He's going to shoot like a laser, vertical laser at you. It's going to be followed by a bunch of little small shots. Again, very easy. Keep running side to side. You don't even have to dodge most of the time. You just keep running side to side. In that sense, it's, it was very easy to read his animations. However, when you get to the third one, there you got to be prepared as everything he does, all the attacks you're familiar with, they're just going to be coming at you a lot faster. So you have to dodge much quicker, and now he's going to have melee attacks that are going to be jumping towards you. If you have an assault rifle, it's very good to kind of stand back and just aim at his head and just whittle away his damage this way. Just be prepared for all his melee attacks, whether he's slamming into the ground or waving, trying to wave at you, he's going to create shockwaves as well. So if you're far away, you still have to jump over them or dodge through them, depending on what you're doing. And just be on the lookout for his melee attacks. What I did was is I kept running around in a circle, just trying to damage him because all the fast automated attacks he does with the balls, whether the red, the blue, or the yellows, they come at you pretty quickly. So I just kept my distance and kept shooting at him. That's the only reason why it took me a little bit longer than I would have liked is that I had a shotgun. I can imagine with a pistol or with an assault rifle, this, this fight would be a lot easier because all of his attacks, you can kind of stay away from. You never have to be too close to him. And when you're staying further away, all the attacks themselves are not going to give you much trouble. But as you can see, my health was massive when I came in here and so was my damage. And that really, really helped me. So do be smart about not rushing towards the boss at first and you should have no problem i feel you're gonna have less of a problem with him than you do with the first boss but hopefully guys this was useful to you and you'll be able to take your double second boss down like i did on your first try with no problem and i hope you're enjoying returnal overall if you found this useful uh, video useful make sure you subscribe down below and leave me a comment let me know maybe you have a better strategy than i had to defeat this boss once again I beat him. I have no reason to refight him again. I've actually done an experiment. When you kill a boss for a second time, you just get an artifact. It's not anything worth redoing the boss for unless I'm creating a tutorial here for you guys. 
but enjoy the rest of your day guys enjoy returnal peace out take care